all right it's garden prep day <laughs> since last year people seemed kind of interested in it so i figured what the heck there's farm equipment involves went up to my bosses and got a load of he's got a whole stockpile full of horse manure from cleaning out the barn that is basically composted down to about the consistency of potting soil and this is what we used in the boxes last year and the, everything and especially the tomatoes and the peppers went completely batshit crazy in it so i figured that obviously the boxes settled out over winter so when if i got a load topped them off and then what we did last year was fill them up most of the way and then put like four inches of potting soil on the top of them that way the plants weren't starting out right in composted manure because i'm sure the nutrient value in this stuff probably a little high you don't want to be burning the roots lord knows what the ph is in the stuff but um so we got done shoveling those back full and got to go get potting soil to top it off and i figured whatever's left in here we'll go ahead and spread out on the on the garden the ground part of it anyhow Nice having a barn with tractors and stuff here. Before, anytime you wanted to do something, they had to run all the way to mom and dad to grab a piece of equipment to run all the way back here to do what you had to do to run all the way to mom and dad's and put it away unless you wanted to leave it set outside overnight. equipment here to do it's almost anything I need to do without having to go somewhere to get something.
double spread this corner because it's got a lot of wood chips in it so it's going to need all the help it can get. Shelly's gonna rinse the spreader off so that it can go back in the barn. Nice thing about spreading relatively dry stuff is you can pretty much just clean the box out with a leaf blower. So she just needs to wash the beaters off. Forgot I had a relatively decent sized tree root from that pecan that was here that uh, needed to come out. So I had to get the mini out and dig that out. There might be more in there, but I can't find them. So I don't wanna start digging holes. We'll find it next year when we go to plow this this fall when we go to plow it again. So now we can get the disc dug out because I kind of buried it and get the cub out. I got stuff scattered all over the place. Yeah, I kind of put it there. I need to measure that planter and see if I can turn it 90 degrees up against the wall. And then I could probably utilize this space a little better, but uh, should just have to push this here plow forward out of the way and get that out and get the cub out. down enough where a tiller will handle it so except first time the old Sears has been out of the barn in two years I think this will be my third third summer running grandpa's tractor for mowing lawn I had to get the starter rebuild on it because there was a bearing out and it would, it would vibrate the tractor so bad I thought it was going to fall apart it's the only reason I quit running it and this old tiller I don't think that this thing's been used in 15 years or more. Um, last time I used it, I went and rode it till the guy's garden and trade for an Oliver disc. And that was before the 1955 showed up. It's been a minute ago. 
Everything on it works except for the kit. This is not the original engine for it. They saw for something else. I think originally it only had like a three and a half or a five horse on it. So it was blown up, but we got this engine with the pillar and it bolted up. So this is what it's got. But uh, I've been sitting for however long, at least 15 years. I put a little bit of gas in it, cleaned the plug, pulled on it five times, it was running. Now that I say that, it probably won't run today, but we'll see. This does not have a throttle on it. It's just, it, it automatically goes to governed RPM like a, a lot of modern engines on most lawn and garden or lawn equipment now. So, you gonna be nice for me, girl?
ought to be plenty good enough for gardening, I'd say. I'll have to hit it one more time with the tiller before she goes to plant it. I don't know what her plan is as far as starting. But, uh, anyhow, now I gotta get everything put away because we gotta run my truck to town because it's gotta get a new exhaust put on it tomorrow because the muffler broke while we were coming home from Iowa. So, anyhow, I guess that's it for this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one.